So today I'm going to be replacing the coolant in the radiator. Uh, I'm not sure what the quantity is or anything like that because in the manual, I don't have the maintenance manual and the service manual just says take it to the John Deere dealer. So what we're going to do, I got a hose that I found here, put it on this, basically a petcock drain valve right there. Got the hose running down out of the bottom, I'm going to put it in a bucket. So, I got the bucket set up over here. Hopefully, it'll go up that rise and go in. We'll, we'll see. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let's see if I, I can't really get the camera set up on it. So, I'm going to have to put you down. Got flow. Here it comes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the cap off of the overflow reservoir and see if that is causing a cavitation. Alright, I pulled the cap and the flow is not increased. Let's see if I can open this valve anymore. We're gonna go a different route. Go for the make a mess route. It's flowing slowly. See if I can open it up some more. And we'll just let this go until it quits running. Alright, so I got my valve closed back up. It quit running. I got roughly about 5 gallons of fluid out. Uh, what I'm going to be using is CoolGuard 2. That's what the uh, manual called for. And uh, I got 5 gallons of it, so I should have enough to fill it back up. So basically this is pretty pretty simple. I got a funnel up in the uh, the reservoir. You can see the reservoir is right here and it's got a min and max line. You want to be in between those. But to fill this up since there's no cap on the radiator I'm just going to keep dumping fluid into the, uh, the overflow reservoir and it should gravity feed down in for a little while and we'll see how much it actually does gravity feed and then eventually I'll just run the tractor and keep filling it up as it as it sucks it in alright battery's running low on the camera so it's a pretty simple process And after I do this, all the fluids will be replaced in this tractor and good to go for a while. Really wish they put a handle on the back of these jugs. So I'm going to let that sit for a little bit, see if it runs down in. If not, I'm going to start the tractor and it should suck it in. Alright, so I'm going to start the tractor up now and uh, let it start. It's not draining down in anymore, so let it start circulating the fluid through the radiator.
put about four gallons in I'm a little above the fill line um, but I'm thinking it still might uh, once it heats up and gets hotter suck some more in so I'll, I'm gonna keep an, an eye on that I know I got about four gallons in so should be uh, in the safe range anyways and uh, if it takes some more I got another gallon or so left over all right thanks for watching